Good evening, seekers of truth. We speak together and listen to find clarity. I thank you for the opportunity to speak before you today. To start a joke. How do you help a Thai monk, a German, a Kenyan, a North Korean slash Korean, a North Korean slash South Korean, and an American to complete a project? I don't know. But I think it's like bringing elements of a water system together. A monk who operates in Bangkok also owns 40 Rai in Korat. His dream was to build a center for calming, relaxing activities for all. Shade for meditation, log-shaped houses slash cabins for the nights, and common areas to enjoy nature and Thailand's quintessential Sabai Sabai vibe. In Bangkok, this monk started a school with 10 students at Wat Bak Po. It grew to over a thousand, and he continued building his dreams. A German public speaker wants to find out what happiness means and how it's created in life satisfaction. A Kenyan wants to understand the stories from history's past to insights leading into the future. Me, some guy. And another American with a similar dream. How does one bring them together to try and create something good? From writing a line in a notebook to this. here it's that it's a return to what was good about humanity before all of these influences of technology it's being around a campfire it's being in a beautiful place and connecting and we want to try to 
enable this kind of environment in learning and for life for all students, uh, both my own kids and the temple school kids and anybody else really. Thank you very much.